Meltan. So if there's one problem with being a, uh, an aficionado of, of antique fishing equipment is the fact that you cannot go down to your local academy sports or bass pro shops and get anything you're looking for. So I rely on this. Uh, the beautiful thing about the internet is you can get just about anything you want. And surprisingly, or maybe not so, a lot of the stuff that I'm interested in, you can actually get at a pretty reasonable price. Let's check it out. Clearly this is not an Amazon job. Ah, very nice. Okay. From Lawrence, the efficient temp. This is actually a, an onboard temperature gauge. It can help you uh, determine the temperature. How does it do that? I'll show you. Look at that. Comes with an internal thermometer. You drop that overboard, turn our unit on, and there you go. Okay. Wow, uh, the Scotch Line rod holder. Look at this. This is uh, an antique rod holder. You know, if we take the kids catfishing, pan fishing, there's really not a ton of rod holders in the tracker, places to put anything. So I picked up a couple of these. I think I might have one more coming. Pretty sweet. We'll just clamp those onto the side of the boat. You flip that, and you are uh, you good to go. Nice. Once you look at that. The classic Pose RC3 crankbait. This is the version that Rick Klun used to win the 1990 Bassmaster Classic. Later bought by Yakima Baits, but these are the ones that you look for. They've got that fish package, uh, that fish blister pack from, from Pose. That's a, that's a sweet bait. So actually that's the RC3, so that is the, uh, that's the deep diver. We'll, uh, we'll do a show on that. Vintage Tom Man styling and profiling jacket. Look at that. That has got the uh, the old logo on it. If I'm out there fishing with any jelly worms, I'm using my Super 60 to locate the fish. Yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be wearing that. So I've been needing uh, a new Boat Bass Pro hat, and surprise, surprise, the ones that they have in the store weren't, uh, weren't gonna cut it for me. So we got this, a new old stock Bass Pro hat. Actually looks sort of like a kid size. Maybe we'll uh, wear that one for Waylon. That fish looks different now, doesn't it? Sounds metal, no idea. The other two rod holders. So now we've got four. All right, from 
Cream uh, Lure Company, the King of Baits, based pretty close down the street in Tyler, Texas. We've got an old school tips and techniques from the Cream Field Staff. I don't know when this thing came out, but this thing is pretty old. And there we have old Nick Cream Jr. himself. And speaking of cream, here we have a, an old school vintage pack of four inch cream scoundrel worms. So this is actually one of the, literally the oldest lures around, uh, developed by Nick Cream, who was actually up in Akron, Ohio. They developed the lure, and again, almost 70 years ago at this point, then they moved down to Tyler, Texas for production. They ultimately ended up joining forces with uh, Night Lure Manufacturing as well. And this lure is still in production today, and we will absolutely be doing a show on the Scoundrel. Nice. Well, this isn't a lure, um, but if you're into old things, at <laughs> Christmas time, we've got the new Christmas vacation ornament. Because why not, right? All right, so Bill Lewis, talk about rattling baits. Certainly one of the most popular kind of crankbaits there are, but I don't know if it's the original, but I feel like it is, the Bill Lewis rat, rattle trap. I picked these up because this is interesting. Uh, it's ghost, it's a ghost color. No idea what that is, I've, I've never seen that. By the way, I don't know if you guys are the same way, but I always forget which side to open the rattle trap box on. It's never the one that I think it should be. There we go. So it's ghost, and look at that. That's actually sort of a translucent rattle trap, quarter ounce. I have never seen that before. We'll uh, we'll do a rattle trap show. We've got a whole bunch of stuff. We've got the diving rattle traps. We've got the pro rattle traps, the floating, and even the uh, red zone suspending. Try not to cut what's inside because I know what's inside. Straight out of 1988, we've got the Bass Pro Shops Master Catalog. We've had on the back the new Hummingbird. Pretty high tech. So that is going to be fun. So I'm looking forward to digging into this thing. I'm sure there's a ton of, ton of oldies but goodies in there. By the way, why did Bass Pro discontinue the Tornado? I, I love that thing. All right, there we go. We'll, uh, we'll keep that in good shape and use that. Awesome. All right, guys, well, that's about it for mail time. So thank you for uh, sitting with me, looking through some stuff. I think that I've got a ton of work to do. Looks like we've got a ton of products that are in need of some TLC. We've got some stuff that has not been used probably for 30 plus years. Next time you see me, we will be using some of this old equipment.